All right, uh, I think this is our table actually, so let's go ahead and uh, take a seat. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and grab a bite to eat real quick. <clears throat> no rush, no rush, we hit the body pretty good. Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Nugo here, and uh, today we will be playing uh, Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered. Now, this game originally came out for the original Xbox, I believe, and uh, it was actually one of the few games that I've ever beaten um, on my own prior to making the Let's Play channel. Um, I really liked it, I thought it was great, it had cool twists to the story, and I really think that this was one of those AAA publisher titles that had really just kind of got swept under the rug and forgotten about really easy. Um, this is one of the few games uh, that I have actively been looking for, for any kind of thing, like for PC, for anything, and I haven't been able to find it up until now when they put it on Steam as a remaster, which is great. Uh, the other one is, is uh, Downfall. Uh, the first one. I found the third one and the second one, but I haven't found the first one yet, so I'm going to keep an eye out for that one. But uh, when I saw this one put up, I was like, yes, 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 yes. So I knew I was going to have to put this into my rotation, but we had a bunch of games that just came out recently. Um, or in the Blind Forest, the Resident Evils, etc., etc. So this one kind of got pushed back. Now I'm like, I think this is the perfect time to go ahead and pull it out. Uh, we're kind of in between new titles that are coming out. Uh, I'm a little broke, and this was already in my library, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, this does have controller support, but it does act a little funky. Um, it keeps crashing sometimes. As you can see, I do have a login already. I have to use my mouse for this, which is kind of weird. Um, it's going to tell me, it's, that save game you're trying to load is corrupted, which is fine, because we're just going to go to a new movie. And we're going to go ahead and do a new game. Quantic Dream. And Aspier present. I played the title like six times already. Uh, the last time I really Things wanted. Things are never quite what they seem. I'll finish in a minute. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos.
Warning, this video may contain graphic violence. I remember when I first played this game and this intro went through, I thought to myself that this was the most badass introduction that I've ever seen. Now it seems a bit dated, but it does still have that chill, eerie, anxiety-inducing feeling that I, I remember as a kid when I first played this. What? what? What have I done? All the characters also have a mental meter, uh, and that mental meter can really seriously mess you up. And if it gets too low, your character can actually commit suicide. I, I didn't want... It was like a dream. I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. You're right. Let's do this. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, oh my god! There we go. Sorry about that. I forgot to set it to a controller. We gotta wash up. We gotta we gotta get cleaned up before the uh, that cop gets wise to us. Rinse stuff off. Rinse stuff off. That's right. Pull down the arms. You're awesome. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, dry up a little bit too. Drying the hands will just kind of give us a little bit of mental boost. Warm feeling on the hands before they get cold again. Uh, we gotta get rid of this body. So just. Get in there, some bitch. Great. Fantastic. But we need to also get rid of this blood. So let's go ahead and grab a mop. Scrubby, scrubby. Scrubby, scrubby. Great. Oh, there's a knife on the floor. Better get rid of that, too. There it is. The knife. I've got to get rid of it. Now it goes to this cutscene because it actually hides the knife from the player, meaning us. All right, uh, let's go check out this blood in here. I told you I played this intro a few times. I must have cut my wrist with the knife. That's Both of terrible. my forearms are cut too. So let's also go ahead and take a piss while we're here. Awesome. Just get the fuck out of here. Uh, fuck it, let's go. Alright, uh, I think this is our table actually, so let's go ahead and uh, take a seat. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and grab a bite to eat real quick. <clears throat> no rush. No rush. We hit the body pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a drink. Fantastic. Oh, doing great. Marvelous. Uh, let's look. Coffee. I never drink it. I hate it. Was I with someone? I can't remember anything at all. Okay, so he doesn't like coffee. Let's check out the bill. Steak and soda... Coffee isn't on the bill. So let's go ahead and pay it. Like just because we committed murder doesn't mean that we gotta stiff this waitress out of uh out of her livelihood. Let's keep eating. I just like this animation. I don't know if we can actually make a dent in the, the food. We probably can't. All right, uh, I think that's it. Let's. I think we're pushing our luck at this point. Uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, sit down here. Talk to the waitress. Hi, waitress. Sir, can I get you something else? 
No, I, uh, I don't. I don't need anything. Thanks. She got the TV. A large snowy cold front coming down from Canada is bringing temperatures far below normal seasonal averages. New snow is expected to fall throughout the day tomorrow, hmm. all along the east coast. Here's a temperature map for your area. Hmm. Fantastic. Snow coming in. Snow cold. Got it. Uh, what's this? Nothing. What are you? Hello? Can I do something for you, sir? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I thought that you were somebody else. Don't worry about it. I'm not worried about it, actually. I'm not going to talk to this cop, but, uh, I'm going to put on some sweet tunes. Can I help you with something, sir? It's horrible. In the toilets, I... I've... It... It wasn't me. I, I'm innocent. You better go and splash a little water on your face, sir. I think that would do you some real good. Oh, God. That stressed me the fuck out. That's not good. Why would I do that? Why did I talk to him? That seems like the worst idea. You, I want to talk to you. Cheer me up, man. You got a problem, pal? You want to take a picture? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Oh, man, these people are, like, bumming me out. The cop. He's going to find the body in the restroom. I've got to get out of here right now. Yeah, bye. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. Oh, there's a subway. Go! Go, we're gonna get going! Peace out, scumbags! Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Doc's diner. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Hey, there's a blood splatter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the cool thing about this is not only are you playing the murderer trying to, you know, escape and to, How's it um... going, McCarthy? <coughs> Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Uh... Suspect? Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. The guy came to talk to me. He was incoherent was babbling about how he didn't do it or something like that. Uh, okay, how? How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I could gather. But we should wait for the autopsy. Okay. Uh, who's the victim? Who is the victim? His name was, uh, John Winston. A regular here at the restaurant. Kate knew him. She could tell you more. Got waitress. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. 
Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Uh, when the symbol appears at the top right of the screen, you can switch characters. Press the B button anytime to switch characters. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. What I was saying was, it's cool. Not only are you playing the 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 um, you're playing the murderer trying to solve his own possession. You also play the cops trying to find the murderer. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. Cup of coffee, Inspector. That's sweet, Martin. Maybe later. I just like looking at you, sexy old man with your hat. Oh, no, I don't want to sit down here. Fuck that. Uh, can't interact with that. I'm going to hold off before I, t I do that. Uh, let's see. Check out the table. Huh. Here's his fork. But where's the knife? Oh, snap. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Gotta remember to check with the waitress on that. Okay, cool. Uh, just check. Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. Mm-hmm. Oh, what the hell? A book. The Tempest by Shakespeare. Ooh, that's a good one. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. The Tempest. Oh, let, let's talk to her. <clears throat> Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? Carla has the best head wobble ever. No. Go ahead. Uh, do you know the suspect? Can you tell me anything about the customer who left just before they discovered the body? He was just a normal guy. I, I didn't really pay any attention to him. Uh, you know the victim? Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and, and left a nice tip. Um, uh, someone else? Could anyone else have come in? No, uh, I don't think so. You can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. Uh, description. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Uh, was John alone? Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job, the usual stuff. He never talked to anybody else. Did John and the suspect know each Did other? Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? There's a head no. wobble. So good. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. A uh, cup of coffee. There was a cup of coffee on his table. Do you remember whether he was the one who ordered it? A cup of coffee? No. No, I'm certain he, he didn't order any coffee. Uh, okay. Was there anyone else sitting at a table? Strange. I, I can't really remember. I remember him very clearly, but I'm not sure if he was with anyone or not. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. It would come on. Kate. You can do this. Try to pull yourself together. You are our main witness, so I'm really going to need your help. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him, 
And then he must have snuck out afterwards because I didn't even see him leave. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom, and that's when he found John. Uh, suspect. Bizarre. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You yeah, wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push him. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Yeah. I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. That head wiggle, though. Oh, it kills me. Find the bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. Hmm. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. <clears throat> Go home now and try to get some sleep. It's interesting. I will make sure you get home okay. I played this intro probably about four or five times already. Um, realistically, probably about four or five. Uh, I had game crashes. I didn't record it at one point. I don't know what the fuck was going on with me. And I've never found that book under the table. And there were some Goodbye. conversation topics in there that um, were not present before. So it's really cool that, um, you know, that that it varies so much. Um, I mean, that every experience, I mean, you're going to do something new. Hey, Garrett. Hey, Frank. How's it going? Hey, Carla. Hey, Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. All right, let's switch. Uh, oh, this is Carla's stuff. Okay. Uh, she's 80% tense, uh, and then, um, um, okay, I don't know what all this stuff is. How do I, how do I switch? Here we go. <laughs> yeah! Tyler, can you shut that thing off? We're on a murder site here. Hey, I just thought I'd chill the atmosphere a little. Okay. No. I better turn this off before Carla pops a vein. <sighs> what a fucking buzzkill. Buzz Killington. Anything in here? No. I know we saw something with Carla. I just saw a conversation topic for you. Oh, look, there it was. Oh, man. Uh, flipping through the camera angles. Carla, pay the fuck attention. I want to talk to you about something. What the hell? Okay, fuck it. Where am I going? You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's Zombie City. Uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. Man, she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. It's pretty funny seeing you on the job at this hour, Tyler. What, you fall out of bed? Yeah, don't make me laugh, Garrett. My lips are chapped. No. Oh. <clears throat> Steak and fries. Looks like he barely touched his food. Barely touched it. I gobbled this shit up. Martin says this was the guy's table. Well, okay. Uh, can I look at the other guy's table? Man, this guy is dying proof that pissing can be bad for your health. Oh my god. Uh, are you sure I can't? There you go. Uh, clues. Did you find anything, Tyler? <laughs> For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Uh, Carla. Carla, she's really something else. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. Best damn cop I know. Alright, let's go. 
Let's go check out the crime scene. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Yeah, check out this exit over here. Uh, let's not do that just yet. Am I going to get yelled at again? me. Did you already fall back asleep? Tyler? What time is it? Oh, hell. When are you coming back? I won't be long, baby. Go back to sleep. I'll be there when you wake up. Catch you later. Now oh, I need a little pick-me-up from the woman back at home. Alright, let's, let's get the fuck in here. I'm, I'm installing long enough. I just, I just like adventuring and seeing what I can find, what you can interact with. Alright, uh, let's, let's take a look at ourselves. How we doing here? Oh shit. Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. Hmm, looking pretty fly. Looking pretty good. Uh, let's check out the trash can. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives and toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Great. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Alright, cool. So, the the knife was in the trash can. The last time I played, it was actually in a toilet. Um, so they do actually hide it from you. Uh, let's, let's change the camera angle. I can't see shit. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. No. Oh. Right, I get it. I'll take care of it. Check out the guy. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on it. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Uh, and then one time, it was actually in this toilet. It was stashed in here. Okay. Mm oh God. He's, oh my god, these fucking tank controls are killing me. I, I thought there was a prompt for me to talk to her. Oh, uh... Ha 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 Tyler! What? This is a restroom, isn't it? No, this is a crime scene! It's cool, I'm done. Must be all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. <laughs> oh god, Carla! Okay, let's... Let's flip over to Carla. We'll see what she has to say about everything. Oh, there we go. Several wounds on the left side of the chest. In the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Let's check out the mop. Blood on the mop. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Mm hmm Why would he risk getting caught to do that? Because I didn't do it. Well, I mean, I guess I did do it, but it wasn't like... No trace of a struggle. Looks... Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Hmm. Oh yeah, this was another hiding place of where the weapon could be. You ever consider a career in plumbing, Carla? You ever consider a career in comedy, Tyler? Hey, everybody says I'm a very funny guy. I'm a funny guy. Man, stab some dude in the toilet? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. All right, let's let's get out of here. Tyler. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Oh. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. Uh, let's stay. Yeah, you're right. Let's take another look around before we go. 
Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Hey. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, seen anything? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Huh. I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. The cold man. Cold enough for you? Yeah, well, luckily I got this to keep me warm. <laughs> you want a little splash? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, well Carla uh, couldn't get anything done, I guess. Let's see if uh, if Tyler wanted to go ahead and get something done. A little something something. <sighs> the door only opens from the inside. Oh god. Oh yeah, we can check out that blood splatter. Blood. Killer is wounded. All right, let's go talk to those guys, tell them to check out the body and then uh and then we'll we'll get the fuck out of here. Oh, I guess that's it. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, 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 no. We're done. This video has been long enough. No, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. Look at that engine, that flat engine dough. The empty streets of New York City. New York City! A nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't kill anyone. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I, I'm gonna get ready and go to work. Oh, my head. It feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. Meds. That should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. All right. Uh, there we go. So uh, thanks everybody. Thanks for joining me uh, here with Indigo Prophecy. Uh, when we come back, we're gonna go ahead and uh, keep on playing this game. I, I think this game is absolutely marvelous. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below, and uh, if you were one of the few fortunate people who actually got to play it. So uh, thanks everybody. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Peace out, everybody. Yeah.